You got the Bengals beating the Cowboys 27-20. You're saying there's a chance. The Cowboys are 5-8. and eight. Cincinnati is 5-8. and eight. One team feels a whole lot better at 5-8 and eight than the other team feels at 5-8. and eight. And with the Cowboys, you're looking at a team that was just never ready to, you know, uh, compete. Even if Dak Prescott's there, they still had a lot of holes. And I think that was the big concern. You're all in, but you weren't all in. And it showed. Troy Aikman last night said he thinks Mike McCarthy is going to be coming back. Micah Parsons says, hey, I hope we can all run this back. I hope Mike McCarthy is coming back. And with Jerry Jones, he is loyal. He's been loyal to a fault. So maybe he is going to bring Mike McCarthy back, which seems pretty bizarre after what has transpired here. And he left him out there as a lame duck coach. But Cincinnati wins this one. And if you look at their schedule, their remaining schedule, they got a shot here. They got a shot, and I don't know if it's a legitimate shot to make the playoffs, but you got to win out. And this is the AFC where you got a chance. You're at the Titans. Then you have the Browns at home, the Broncos at home, and then you're at the Steelers. I don't know what the Steelers will be playing for, but there is that Cincinnati-Pittsburgh rivalry. The Broncos are a playoff team. You're going to host them. The Browns, enigmatic, and uh, you got the Titans as well. But uh, right now at five and eight, and you watch last night, and maybe you watch the same way I did. It's like, why aren't they better? Burrow has been great this year. Jamar Chase is unbelievable. The defense has been terrible. That's the biggest difference here. And now they did hold Dallas to 20, but they needed help in the final two minutes there with the block punt, the fumble, and then you let Joe Burrow little out pattern to Jamar Chase. Like, for the life of me, I'm thinking, do you have coverage over the top? Like, you have to have one guy on Jamar Chase, and you have to have another guy right there for a helping hand. And give credit to Jamar Chase. It's a simple pass round. Just out, doop, dip, zip, doop, touchdown. And then that's it. Ball game. Uh, 877-3DP-SHOW. Email address dp at danpatrick.com. Twitter handle at show. Here's Mike McCarthy after the loss last night. Would you say that this is maybe the toughest pill to swallow as far as a non-playoff loss you've experienced as a head coach? Oh, definitely, because, I mean, where it puts us in the season. You know, we, we, we understand that we dug ourselves a hole. You know, the seven losses coming in here. So uh, we, we, had, we had to have this one tonight, you know, and, and um, yeah, so definitely. This is a very, very disappointing loss. We talked about this in September where I said, you're going to have a loss by a team that when we get to December, we're going to look back and go, oh, my God. The Bengals open the season losing at home to Jacoby Brissett and the Patriots. And we said at the time, that's the kind of thing that can keep you from home field advantage, from winning your division to making the playoffs. And that might be the case for the Bengals. Teams that lose in September, it still costs, you know, it still counts as one loss, but it's costly at the end of the year when you have these losses early and you go, oh, my God, they lost to them. Uh, Seton, what's the poll question today for the first hour? Well, we got a couple here. Uh, one here from Paulie. Quarterback least likely to win a Super Bowl. Whoa. whoa. Least Wh- likely. Where did where did that come from? I, okay. Two years ago, I would have said that Joe Burrow is going to win a Super Bowl, and I would have bet my career on it, bet anything on it. The Bengals look good. He looked great. They almost beat the Rams a couple plays away. It feels like they're going, getting further from the Super Bowl, Joe Burrow and the Bengals. And then I threw in some other quarterbacks. Okay. We have Lamar Jackson. Okay. I don't know if that feels closer. Well, they're closer than Joe Burrow and the Bengals are. Correct. But are they closer than two years ago? I just think they've had a rough patch. I think that team can win on the road. I, I think that it, it, if that game plan is carried out, then, yeah, I still think that they can go to a Super Bowl. I do. Go to a Super Bowl. Go to a Super Bowl. Can they win a Super Bowl? I'll say yes because John Harbaugh has won a Super Bowl before. So I'll say yes, but they don't have a good defense either. Who else is on there? Uh, Well, Brock Purdy. Mm. He felt really close last year. Well, he was. You can't get any closer than being in the Super Bowl. 
<laughs> but I'm so, saying, does it feel much? Thank you, Paul. Well, I'm saying, does it feel much farther this year? And they always talk about windows with the 49ers. Oh, I think the window closed this year. I don't know if it's closed for Brock Purdy, but yeah. I mean, he's like Joe Burrow. He had a chance. Had a chance. Uh, Maybe that's the last chance he has. Yes, Seton. Justin Herbert. I I don't know if I, he's farther further away from a Super Bowl. I just don't know if he's closer, maybe because of Jim Harbaugh. Uh, yeah, all right. Who else is on the list? Then we can go back and say, all right, who's the furthest away? All right, the last on the list then uh, would be Jalen Hurts. So you have Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Brock Purdy, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts. Joe Burrow. Is least likely to win a Super Bowl? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I have to look at his team. Jalen Hurts is on a really good team. Lamar Jackson is on a team that can be dangerous. Uh, Justin Herbert is going to make the playoffs with Jim Harbaugh in his first year there. Brock Purdy, with the injuries, they seem to be non-threatening right now. But I would say Joe Burrow, he's not going to make the playoffs. Yes, Seton. Jalen Hurts, fairly or unfairly, I'm not saying this is the way that I feel, but Jalen Hurts is the only quarterback on that list who is still a question mark for being a starting quarterback. Yes, and I've done the questioning. I, there are times when I go, I just don't know if he's a, a good quarterback or quarterback in a really good situation. Maybe Brock Purdy Brock is also Purdy, in that. Maybe. Yes, but I think Brock Purdy, when he plays really, really well, is better than Jalen Hurts when Jalen Hurts plays really, really well. Really? Well, Jalen Hurts gives you the element of running. I mean, Brock Purdy does run, but Brock Purdy, when everybody's playing, that's when he plays really, really well. Jalen Hurts, they can some Like, I watched the game against Carolina. He just kind of does some things. Um, and I just don't, I don't know if he's a, a, you know going to be a really good passer. I, I think now I go back to that Super Bowl and you could have given him the MVP in a loss. I wouldn't have had a problem with it. He was that good. I just I don't know. There's something that I don't see the consistency. I don't see him being that, oh my gosh, Jalen Hurts. Is he doing what he's supposed to do? I guess. You know, win. They're not throwing the ball. I mean, that's a run first team. Um so I don't know what that they got receivers. They got a they got a couple of really good receivers. You got a really good tight end, and it feels like they're a running game, running team. So that that's a little bit surprising there. Yeah, Paulie. It feels like the Eagles could win a Super Bowl with Hertz playing B level football. They almost did it already. You know, twenty two downs and ten picks type guy. You know, I don't. I'm not comparing it to Troy Aikman, but the uh, focus on the quarterback is similar to the Troy Aikman days, where he doesn't have to do a ton because he's got so much talent. But I think we always felt that Troy Aikman could step up in a big moment and, and then provide that play. I don't know about Jalen Hurts it, when it comes to passing. Playmaking, it's different. Like, I look at Lamar as a better passer. I look at Lamar as a better quarterback, more dangerous. But it just feels like Jalen Hurts sometimes has to keep up with everybody else on the offense there. And I don't know if it's, you know, Nick Sirianni, I don't know if it's play calling, whatever it is. And then you got a receiver who's saying, I'm always open and you're not throwing me the ball. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, you're winning. You're winning. This isn't about touches, but Jalen Hurts can win a Super Bowl. I mean, that's a really good team. Really good team. As, and maybe the most balanced team that I've seen this year. Um, and that's because Detroit lost some, some players due to injury.